Hello, this is Golden Times Television uh, with another overview on the Agora. Here we have another special guest. Please, what's your name? Uh, my name is Mathieu and uh, I'm from Environmental Working Group. Mathieu, uh, how did you like the second day of the Agora? Well, I think to say the least, it was a very intense day. Um, a lot of things which at the beginning of the Agora we did not really expect uh, that would happen. And um, it's, it's, it's very hard to just give like a very quick, uh, a very quick idea. Um, but I think it's, it's, it has been a very important day. And uh, we have shown that even when there are troubles in IJ, we're not afraid of dealing with them. You're We're referring, afraid, sorry, you're referring to the vote of confidence. Yes. Um, what do you think about the vote of confidence against the CD? I think it is at the basics. It things like this should. Uh, I mean, the name says it's vote of confidence, and these things should be dealt with in confidence, and if possibly, this should be dealt with within the body that is is, is having trouble. So it should have uh, been dealt with within the CD. On the other hand, um, a lot of people have been saying that. This should not have been presented at the Agora, uh, but when it is, then I think it is up to the Agora to take responsibility, and then we could not have avoided uh, dealing with this, we could not have avoided do having the vote. Um, Yesterday, uh, there were lots of uh, blame was thrown to each other, Alfredo said that he did everything right, uh, and uh, not everything right, but he was not only to blame, the other CD members also said that they take part of the blame. So, who was really to blame? Well, I think what we all know is that there's never a black and a white. Um, I think in cases like this, when it comes to this level, at some point everybody is to blame. And whether this is now because you did something wrong or because you have not done something when you could have, I think that's also what all of the candidates said. They all uh, acknowledge that they have not done everything possible to avoid this and everything possible to solve this question. You mean uh, not the candidates but the CD members? The CD members, yeah, sorry. yes, sorry. For the future, do you think there could be some kind of mechanism in order to avoid similar problems in future CDs? I think, well, they have already tried a couple of things which they referred to yesterday. Um, they have had uh, team meetings with this, they have had externals and professionals, old CD members, helping them to resolve the problems which they had. Um, and I think something would be maybe um, to have really a number of old CD members who have lived in the house for a whole year, because that's not an easy thing to do, and who have uh, carried this responsibility of, of, uh, of leading IG to really be there um, and be known to be there to support um, current CD members and to advise them and to be some kind of a, a, a point that uh, CD members can refer to when they have problems and help them with solving them. A couple of people said EG might need a supervisory board. Do you think EG needs another institutional level or do you think it should be rather than an informal level? Well, this is a discussion I have not followed. Uh, I just heard about it yesterday. Um, I think a lot of big institutions, companies, also NGOs, also small NGOs, have supervisory boards. Uh, a large number of locals have supervisory boards or advisory boards uh, constituted of members like who are candidating for Memcom. Um, I think this could be a good thing, um, but it could be something rather informal. I mean, it doesn't have to have um, a lot of speaking rights or, or voting or uh, speaking time at Agoras and things like that, but I think it would be good to have a body or a group, uh, it could be a loose group of people who really commit themselves to supporting the CD and uh, in this kind of uh, times. Uh, final question, you see this is the real media agora, lots of stuff going on on Twitter. You're also uh, tweeting on the internet, so what, what do you think about it, how do you enjoy it and what's the added benefit uh, to the agora? Well, I think the biggest benefit of, uh, of being able to tweet a lot is that, well, since Alicante we've been working with Livestream. This, uh, this may work, sometimes it fails, and we've seen over the couple of uh, days that have passed now that a lot, a lot, a lot of people are interested and are following the debates here, especially with this uh, vote of confidence as well. And by using Twitter we can really reach out to many more people than are here. Um, also, it just uh, provides an easy, uh, informal way of uh, discussing things and commenting uh, between people that are in the plenary um, and, and keeping it kind of quiet without having to, to, to chat a lot. Um, so I think the um, high
higher interaction because of Twitter, because of Facebook as well, because of the live stream, is really benefiting the Agora. And so far, I have not seen that it is disturbing or taking away attention from uh, people in the plenary. Thank you very much. You're welcome.